A couple of things to tell you about the planet Jupiter tonight. A huge meteor or comet appears to have slammed into the massive failed star. So big, an amateur stargazer in Texas caught it with a backyard telescope and a camera. Watch the bottom left of your screen. The bright white flash is believed to be the impact. And a much larger telescope, the Hubble, just snapped this intense, vivid portrait of the planet that shows its famous great red spot is shrinking. Astronomers don't know why. Joining us now to make some sense of this science and technology specialist, Dan Riskin. So, Dan, meteor or comet, I guess it could be either one, did Jupiter protect Earth from being hit in this particular case? It, it may very well have. People talk about Jupiter as this cosmic vacuum cleaner. It's so massive. I mean, it weighs uh, more than twice as much as all the other planets combined. It's so massive that it sort of brings in everything with its gravitational field. And so there are people who believe that life could never have even evolved on Earth if it weren't for the way Jupiter just sucks up things like this and takes the impact for us. So it may have saved us a hit. All right. That great red spot everyone is so fascinated with, what is it about it and the significance of it shrinking, even though astronomers apparently don't know why? Well, it, it's beautiful, um, for one thing, but Galileo saw it when he first used a telescope to look at Jupiter way back in the 1600s, and that red spot has remained to this day. And we've never known if it's a permanent thing or just a storm that will go away. And so this current research shows that it may well go away, and we're just lucky to be able to see it. And the other thing about Jupiter that's so great is that it's accessible. I mean, if you go outside right now, you can find the moon very easily, you'll see a white dot next to it, that's Jupiter. And if you put a pair of binoculars on it, you may well be able to see some of its moons. It's really a special thing to do, and it's right there for us anytime. All right, Dan, thanks so much. Science and technology specialist Dan Riskin.